Hi friends, God bless you mightily in Jesus name. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Now, today we'll be starting a new series titled Questions That Bother Me, right? But before we go into what we're talking about today, let me quickly remind you, in case you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so right now. Thank you very much. One of the greatest problems of the present day Christian church is what I call secularism, especially as it concerns music and dance. It's a big problem really and um, it sometimes makes me wonder and ask myself questions like, don't we think we present the Christians are becoming hypocrites? Don't we think we are be- beginning to act like hypocrites? Now, I'll give an example. When we talk about worldly musicians, uh, by worldly music, I mean um, music that promotes um, violence, music that promotes sexual sins, music that promotes drug addiction, drugs, music that promotes um, indecent dressing, music that promotes nudity, those kind of music. Now, when we talk about musicians that do those kind of music, we talk about them in the light of them not being born again. We say they are not born again. They need to give their lives to Christ. They need to encounter God, which is true. These people are not born again, and we need to continue to pray for them that they encounter God. Now, but the issue is this. We complain that these people are not godly. They are not born again. But yet, we copy what they do and bring it into the church. We copy their dances and bring it into the church. We copy their songs, bring it into the church. We copy almost everything they do and bring it into the church. Now, something is not connecting, really. How can we say something is ungodly, someone is ungodly, and yet we adopt those ungodly things and bring them into the church? Now, turn with me to the book of Matthew. Um, Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Now, the Bible has something to say. Matthew 5, 13 says, You are the salt of the earth. Right? But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing, but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Now, verse 14 went on to say, You are the light of the world. Now, the Lord expects so much from us. We are the light of God, right? The, the light of the world. We are supposed to bring those who are lost in the world to the knowledge of Christ. It should not be the other way around. We should not conform to the standard of the world. Now, turn with me to the book of Romans. Romans 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Now, it says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. It is expected that we do not conform to the standard of the world. Right? There's only one standard, and that standard in the, is the standard of God. There's only one standard, and that standard is the standard of God. Now, because everybody is doing a particular thing, does not make that thing the right thing to do. Now, because everyone is doing something, and that thing is is what is in vogue, doesn't mean that is the right thing for us to do as Christians. Now, because everyone is dancing shaki, everyone is dancing shaku shaku, everyone is dancing skelewu, everyone is dancing these new dances, these dances we have in town, doesn't mean it is the right thing for us as Christians to do. Right? We need to understand the fact that not everything that is in vogue is suitable for us as Christians. Now, you may be listening to me and um, you feel, well, well, I'm still going to listen to the songs, I'm still going to listen to those kind of songs, I'm still going to dance those kind of music. Fine, it's our decision really. I understand the fact that it, the, the decision as to what kind of music to listen to, what kind of dance to dance is um, left to each and every one of us. Yeah, that is our decision. But let me just draw your attention to what the Bible says in the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5. Let's quickly read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21 says, test all things, hold fast what is good. Now, the King James Version says, prove all things, right? Now, verse 22 says, abstain from every form of evil. Now, it is very important that we carefully assess everything we get ourselves involved in. Of course, our fleshly nature as human beings, we always want to justify um, whenever we do anything that uh, gratifies our flesh. It's fine. But I think if we want to be honest with ourselves, we know that most of the things we get involved in are things we should not get involved in. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will open the eyes of our understanding and explain these things to us better than I could have ever done. Now, the bottom line is this. Let's stop the hypocrisy. Now, let's stop having the world convert us to themselves. It should be the other way around. We should be the ones converting the world and bringing them to the knowledge of Christ. I pray that God will help us in this assignment in the name of Jesus. God bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.